The reason why we uh, did this study is because um, in the Francisco's Hospital, we now have the, the Theramec trial. In this trial, we are treating patients with small breast cancer with thermal ablation. So this is a minimal invasive, invasive therapy um, where we can, uh, in a local and under local anesthesia, um, treat the cancer with a needle. Uh, and at this moment, we have different studies worldwide focusing on these minimal invasive techniques. So thermal ablation is one of them, but you have also the uh, vacuum-assisted biopsy, for example. Um, it's all with uh, the goal to reduce patient morbidity, treatment morbidity, to improve quality of life, um, satisfaction, and cosmetic. But there's one issue with these approaches is that we won't have the surgical specimen anymore in the future and at this moment this is like the 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 golden standard for determining your indication for systemic therapy so for endocrine therapy or uh, chemotherapy um so in this study uh, i wanted to to see uh uh, what the prognost prognostic ability is of the core needle biopsy. So if we only have the core needle biopsy, uh, are we able to say, okay, this patient has an indication for systemic therapy or not? So it's a retrospective uh, study uh, with 303 patients. Uh, and I compared the results of the core needle biopsy with the surgical excision, excision specimen. And I uh, analyzed the congruence of tumor grading, uh, tumor size, uh, and also the um, end stage, so the lymph node dis dissemination. Um, and I, uh, with these informa this information, I, I analyzed whether the indication for systemic therapy was the same between CNB and the surgical excision specimen. And what I found is that there's actually for these small tumors, so this study focused only on the small tumors, so patients who would, um, in which we could do minimal invasive uh, therapies in the future. Uh, and I saw that there was a pretty good congruence. So especially for tumor grading, um, there was an agreement for 79%. For tumor size, it was 75% with um, uh, the MRI uh, MRI scan is less often underestimating the size than the ultrasonography. Um, and if you look at the systemic therapy, we had a pretty high agreement of, let me just take the number again, of 76%. Um, and especially for, uh, well, actually both endocrine therapy and th chemotherapy, there was a bit higher risk of underestimating the indication than overestimation, under, overestimating, but still um, the numbers were pretty small. And then it's the question that you can ask yourself in the future, if you balance the benefits of um, adjuvant therapy against the morbidity in these, this group, which is all, already having really, it's a really low risk group, and uh, you can ask yourself whether the gain, gains in quality of life in cosmetics and in costs, if they outweigh the small risk of underestimating the indication. So that's the, actually the most important results of this study.